everyone and welcome to Centre Point Kids Online. Stay tuned for today's story, some music and some great ideas to keep those creative minds active. Hey kids, we're really glad that you could come back and join us again this week. I hope you're feeling good today. Today, we're going to be learning about a very exciting thing that happened one day shortly after the day of Pentecost in the city of Jerusalem. The Bible tells us about it in the book of Acts in chapter 3. Two men who were followers of Jesus were going up to the temple to pray. The followers, or disciples, were called Peter and John. Do you remember hearing about them before? They were with Jesus when he was here on earth, and they saw him do a lot of really wonderful things. Then after Jesus had died on the cross and had been buried in a new tomb, they both saw him alive again after he'd risen from the dead, and they were with Jesus' other followers when they watched him go back into heaven. Peter and John wanted to tell everyone about the Lord Jesus. As they went into the temple that day, they saw a man lying there begging. He was crippled and he'd never been able to walk, so his friends and family had to carry him everywhere. Can you imagine what that must have been like? There was no wheelchairs or mobility scooters back in those days. There was also no money for him if he was unable to work, so this poor man had to rely on others being kind and giving him money. He was begging, asking for money outside of a gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate. He saw Peter and John and he asked them for money. Verse 4 tells us that they looked straight at him. That man must have thought, great, they're going to give me something. Then Peter said, I don't have any silver or any gold. How disappointed the man must have been. But then Peter said, I do have something else I can give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. Something amazing happened. Peter took the right hand of the crippled man and verse 7 tells us that immediately the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and he began to walk. He then went into the temple with Peter, walking and jumping and praising God. He had been healed. No more begging for him. Can you imagine how excited he must have been? He was thankful to God. It is great to be thankful and to praise God for whatever he does for us. The people who were there saw the man walking and praising God, and they recognized him. They were amazed. They knew that he had been begging at the temple gate, and they wondered, how could this have happened? But Peter asked them, why are you surprised? He then said, it was not because he or John were good that the man had been healed. It was through the power of Jesus. Peter went on to tell everyone there about Jesus. He said in verses 14 and 15, you did not want Jesus. He was pure and good, but you said you did not want him. And so you killed the one who gives life. But God raised him from death. We are witnesses to this. Do you remember that after he rose again, Jesus told his followers, You saw these things happen. You are witnesses. Here were Peter and John doing exactly what Jesus had told them to do. Being witnesses and telling others about him. Peter went on to tell everyone there that the prophets, who the Bible tells us about in the Old Testament, had said years before that God would send the Christ he would suffer and die that Jesus was the only one who had been promised. He told them in verse 19, So you must change your hearts and lives. Come back to God and he will forgive your sins. Do you remember? Jesus told them to preach that message after he rose from the dead and he still has that power. The message for us today is exactly the same. How amazing is that? Okay, it's time for the quiz. I want to just double check you were listening. Are you ready? Question number one. Are you ready? Who were the two disciples in the story? That's right, Peter and John. Well done. Are you ready for question number two? Where were they going? To the temple. Well done if you got that right. Okay, okay, I know that last question was a tall order, but are you ready for question number three? Who did they see? A crippled man, well done. Okay, question number four, and I'll warn you, this one is harder, so make sure you listen super carefully. What did Peter say that they didn't have? silver and gold. 
Really well done if you got rat right. That was hard. Question five. In whose name did Peter tell the man to stand up and walk? In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Well done. Okay, time for the last question. What did Jesus tell his disciples they had to be? His witnesses, really well done if you got that right. I'm really impressed. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and don't forget to join the kids chat on Zoom if you want to hang out with your buddies after church. If you want to join the kids chat and you're not sure how, just ask the closest adult and they'll be able to help you and make sure you can hang out with your buddies and have a chat after church. We hope to see you again next week and thanks so much for joining in. It was great to have you. strength is rising in my weakness how could i deserve a love like this you're breathing life into my battles you speak your purpose in the pen
Wasted, what is the verdict? Grace. Grace. Nothing forgiven, saved by the risen king, so I give you praise. praise. I will stand tall as I answer your call, this life I will live by faith. faith. Because you deserve it, yes you are worth it, I'm at your service. Amen. Light in the darkness, love through the heartless, no one can stop this go. go. Yes you are greater with you, I am brave, but no one can top this woe. Your kingdom is coming, your glory is showing, and so I will give my all. all. Yes, I will go, ready to show, let the whole world know. My heart has become your throne. King of kings, Lord of lords. Almighty, nothing comes close. Nothing compares. My soul is safe within my Savior. Safe in your arms. There's no other love that's greater. Yeah. My heart has become your throne. King of kings, Lord of lords. Almighty, nothing comes close. Why not read today's story in the Bible and find out what happens next? To find out more, visit the kids page at centerpointchurch.org where you'll find fun activities to keep your creative minds going. Don't forget to tune in next week. See ya!